What's up guys, Gooms and welcome back to Pro Slime 2023 for episode number 7 of the Bolton and Equities Black Spoke Career Mode. In today's episode, we're going to do some interesting races. We'll start with the Tour de Wallonie, we'll also have the Volta Portugal, but also the World Championships with New Zealand. However, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the Giro because it's well and truly finished, and I have no idea who won it. Um, so we start off with Luis Leon Sanchez winning the opening time trial. Okay. Sure, why not? Um, Kelvin wins the sprint. Sandra Meresa wins the first uh, hideous stage. Who takes yellow at this point? James Shaw is in pink. All right, fair enough. Uh, Roglic wins. Philipson, Caleb Ewan. Primoz Roglic wins in Gran Sasso and takes um, Maria Rosa. David Goju wins. Uh, Roglic stays in pink. Nelson Oliveira wins the time trial. Um, was the competition dead? I mean, no offense, but a podium of Nelson Oliveira, Bruno Armira, and Omar Fralet on a 50 km time trial, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, Arnaud Levy makes it 1 2 3 for Belgium on this sprint. Jasper Philipsen makes it back to back for Belgium. Lorenz de Bleus makes it back to back to back for Belgium for a 1 2 3 Vineos. Jesus Christ. The Marquis wins in Constantana ahead of Covid and Geoffrey Bouchard. Roglic is still in Maria Rossa. Uh, Jasper Philipsen. Alessandro, 15 minutes on the peloton. Jesus Christ. Also, Danny Von Poppel leading the peloton. Interesting. Lorenz de Plus is doing well. P4 for him, right? Wet Bulls win in Monte Bondone ahead of Gaudu, Paré Pantre, and Thibaut Pinot, of course, with that three, three French riders. Also, big ups Thibaut in P4. Come on, my guy. Philipson again. David Gaudu wins in Val di Soldo. Okay. What does that mean, GC wise? Lorenz de Plus is second. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Roglic leads. Werbulls wins in Trecime. Lorenz de Plus is still here. Um, stage 20, Montelusari. Lo Lorenz de Plus, I'm not seeing. Wait, hold up. Does that mean. I just started. Oh, don't tell me. Do not. It happened again. It's happened again. Primus Roglic lost to Giro or lost a Grand Tour on the Monte fucking Luzari. He's done the reverse him in real life. Lorenz de Plus is a Grand Tour winner. How? And we're on the way. Before the first state of the episode, the first state of the Tour de Wallonie, um, we've got a sprinter in Rory Townsend, straight off his uh, new title of Irish champion. When it comes to the UK, we also have our very good Jacob Scott, oh, the, the Pinarello with the, the UK stripes on it. It's just ah, magnificent, a beautiful peng, as uh, the British uh, high people would say. Uh, but yeah, um, we're going for a sprint today. Does Rory have a custom bike as well? Oh, he, he does. This is just lovely. Um, we've seen the results of the Giro. You're going to see the results of the Tour de France very soon. Maybe you have already put them. Uh, I'm not sure who's won it yet. But I'm hoping for yet another Masterclass, just like Laurence de Plus. And hopefully a Masterclass is something I can provide today in Les Bonvillers. We're trying to exist in this uh, in this finish. We're getting blocked a lot here by our Charles Planet may really... Am I really gonna get blown by Charles Planet? Is it? Is this a throwback to fucking YouTube Pro Cycling? Is that the plan? Um, Fitzsimmons is gonna step aside. As I said, we're trying to exist in this sprint. It's very difficult. Um, but we're gonna launch Mark Stewart. Who's got Aaron Gate in the wheel? 1.4k to go. I'm gonna have to launch Rory Townsend. I didn't think there would be that many corners until the end. The win today is gonna be for Kolze Changeze. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yes, it is. It's a shame. Aaron Gate wasn't far off. Uh, our New Zealander takes speed too. In this stage today, between Villers, La Ville, and Namur, uh, we also have some cobbles at the end in the Côte de la Stade de Namur. Should be interesting. It's a finish where I could definitely see myself winning. I definitely got confused because I saw Aaron Gate wearing the yellow jersey. But that's not P1. Belgium is built different, they don't have the same rules as we do. That's why France is a better country. Final 7 kilometers, meaning we are started the uh, Côte de Stade de Namur. 1.3 kilometers, two start cobble sector, and it is going to be led uh, by Aaron Gate. Mr. Burnett is going to step aside. 
Uh, matter of fact, what I'm going to do is actually quite simple. We're going to stop Jacob Scott and try to go on our own with our own gates. We'll see uh, how far the other jersey can go in our wheel. It's Jasper De Boist. Um, I wouldn't be against bringing him in um, to the finish of this stage if that means that I can go for the win with Mark Stewart. Aaron Gate pacing as much as he can. Jacob Scott in the background is not he's not done all he could. We're gonna use the gel. We're gonna launch the sprint with Aaron Gate. And we're gonna do the same with Mark Stewart. Jasper De Boist is on his way to take what uh, should be a very good, very good win for the Belgian in Namur. And he does win indeed. However, in the GC, Aaron Gate is your new leader. Done well. We've done well. Terrible day. Terrible, terrible day. Also, Aaron, don't tell me there were no gaps yesterday. Oh, you're taking the piss. There weren't gaps yesterday. Now, that is absolutely disgraceful. We've entered the final 10 kilometers of uh, what is meant to be a sprint stage in La roche en ardennes uh, but there is quite a massive hill before the finish. Oh, and Logan Curry has been, uh, been blocked here. Lovely. Simply lovely. Logan is going to try and do his best. Aaron Gates getting blocked. All right. Hold up. Stranger, uh, it's changes the strategy. Let's <laughs> completely wait. Let's basically stop so that everyone can come back. All right. So the Tietam up is facing. Is that Kevin Inkelar? Fair enough. I did not know he was still a still a cyclist, and I did not know he paced or sorry rode for the Tour de Tietam up. Five k to go. Mark uh, Stewart is now in the wheel of Logan Curry. We're going to put Bernard aside. All things considered, we've done we, we've done some proper damage limitation today because it could have been a lot worse, and it should have been a lot worse based on our race conditions. Acceleration by Ryan Mullen. Why? He's going to give the stage to call the Changzi again. Like how how is this happening? How are we allowing? This Danish man to take every single stage. Ryan Mullen, you, you, you're you dumb. It's the win for Golden Tank, is it? Of, of course. Alright. We once again have 10 seconds behind the day. More sprints between Malmedy and Herstal. Hopefully this time no one will actually try and lead Mr. Chang is it, towards an easy stage win. That would be absolutely great. Or maybe Ryan Mullen just wants to, I don't know, get his revenge on me. Ever since I beat him. Well, I don't have the, the, the transfers for this team. I don't. Due to my team's absolute inability to position themselves well, uh, we're in a shit position. Shock, I know. I never, no one could expect that. The only one in my team with energy is Logan Curry. Because, dumb. Just dumb. I've been trying to be at the front for about 14 kilometers now. And it took me... One rider and the red bar of, of literally everyone. That's what it takes nowadays to be at the front of the peloton in PCM 2022. Shocking. Um, I got beaten by a Donny called Duba to get the mountain points. Sure. Grow up. Grow up, Duba. Got better things to do in your life. Surely. Um, we're going to get absolutely battered. Yup. There we go. Jacob Scott is out of energy. Good, 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 good. Where's my main, where's my best friend? Where's my best friend? Where is he? Wait, hold on. Is he not here? Oh no, he's, he's in the middle of Jacob Scott, obviously. Uh, Alright, well, let's uh, let's prepare to lose. There we go. And Shark, I've lost. Who could have seen that coming? Juan José Lobato. Rigzabel. Rigzabel. Rigzabel wins the stage in 2023. This is unheard of. Final stage of this tour of Wallonie. Whilst the GC win seems complicated, because I would have to defeat... Um, well, I'd have to win the stage with Aaron Gate today. The podium is definitely still on the cards. I just need to avoid losing to Alessandro Fedeli. Also in Verencho. Actually, no. Hey, wait. For the podium, oh, it's going to be quite tricky. Final stage of this tour of Belgium. Once again, we're trying to get at the front here. Through Mark Stewart, there's a crash. I'm not seeing Changizi being involved. Inside crash, direct Gido crashing, that's the second crash. Sorry, for direct G on this um on this race. Yeah, we're done. 
I, we, we can't, we just cannot, I'm trying my best to like go left, go right, go middle, go wherever the fuck I can, but I just cannot go anywhere. It's a win for Sasha Vemes for the first proper sprint of this race, uh, P2 Marco Halla, P3 Rick Zabel. Alright, let's take a look at the Tour de France results, shall we? Nielsen Paules won the opening stage of 1, 2, 4, EF, Jesus Christ, okay, okay. Then the 1, 2, 4, Groupama with Goudou and Madouas. Okay. Matt Pedersen winning the first mass sprint. Then Philipson. Jean Almeida winning in La Lance. Uh, so far, I've seen Yates on the podium. I've seen Almeida on the podium. Not seen Talley. Vlasov winning in Contre Cambosque. Kelby winning in Bordeaux. Kelby winning in Limoges. Jai Hindley in the Puy Dome. Back to back to back for Australia. Jesus. Where's Talley? Because that's Domin Novak. Did Talley crash? Did Talley not make the Tour de France? Ah, we'll take a look at that. Uh, Dan Martinez winning in Histoire, Mathieu Valapol in Moulin, Vlasov in Belleville en Beaujolais, the yellow jersey, Garin Thomas winning in Grand Colombier. Okay. Yeah, Tadej can't be here. Because I'm not seeing anyone from UAE in the top 25. Yeah, no, impossible. Uh, Vlasov wins in Morzine, Vlasov wins in Saint-Gervais, Vlasov wins in Combleu, Vlasov wins in Courchevel, Vlasov wins four in a row. Fucking hell. Philipson Bennett. Vlasov at the Markstein, Bennett in Paris, Alexander Vlasov absolutely murdered the Tour de France. 4.31 on Vingegor, 4.48 on Dan Martinez. Domen Noval being the best Slovenian rider on the Tour de France is not a stat I thought I'd ever say. Finishing at 21 minutes down. Wow! Where was Talia Pogacar? He didn't withdraw. Hold on. Something can't be right. Ah, no, Tadej was there, but Tadej DNF, Tade DNF'd on stage 2. Yeah, that changed a lot of things, I think. Alright, time for the transfers. Uh, Aim, get Townsend, Stewart, Bostock, Jacob Scott back. Then improvise. I'm not sure what the Aim will be next season for us, whether it's um, Continental Pro World Tour. I'm, I'm gonna guess we'll stay in, in Conti Pro, but we made some signings. And I just wanted to let our opposition know that we are cooking. Starting with the signing of Lucas Towers. He's a young 19-year-old climber from Carajal Alea. Um, he joins the team because he had high potential. The same for Alastair McKellar. Um, the uh, Australian hill rider joins us. Ben Askey joins us for the cobble aspect because I had none of that. Dylan Hopkins, another good uh, hill rider from Australia, joins us. He leaves Ljubljana, Gusto Sante, and makes the return back to Oceania. Archie Ryan, the uh, Irish climber from Jumbo Visma dev team, who I think in real life just signed a contract with Jumbo Visma, will join Boards and Equities alongside three riders. The first one, Sebastian Berwick from Israel Premier Tech, makes the move once again back to the uh, old land. 73 mountain, 73 meter mountain, 75 hills for him, and our two main signings. Starting off from Borans Grower, he's 25 year old, he hasn't won a lot of things. It's Matthew Walls, 75 sprint for him, 70 cobbles. Should be able to provide uh, some good results for us, and hopefully, so can this man, 22 year old Ethan Vernon. He did not get the chances he wanted at Sudal Quick Step. He was in beef with Patrick Lefebvre and uh, managed to sign him for, I think, 20,000 months. Sorry, 20,000 monthly. The uh, British rider, 75 in sprint, 72 in central, 70 in the hills, joins us ahead of next season for three more years. That is our window done. And uh, up next, Portugal and mostly the World Championships. The bomb dia from Portugal, from Setuba, start of the Volta a Portugal, and Bicicleta. I do not have a climb bar. I mean, I got Jason Kench, who will be my leader. The aim is to defeat uh, the clean Portugal teams, which none of them have ever been convicted for cheating, and I don't know, grab a few stages uh, whilst trying to become world champion with Aaron Gate. Alright, um, I mean, with the prologue underway, we decided to send Logan Curry with 99, and he's winning. He's currently P1 ahead of Cesar Martin Gil and Chad Hager. Mark Stewart has not had a great time trial, so it looks like the win could be set for the rewrite of New Zealand. I don't think Albanese will take it. I swear, if they give it to César Martin Gil because he was first to finish, 
No, he didn't. It's not. Logan Curry is the first leader of La Volta Portugal. I'm glad I didn't take him to the World Champs in New Zealand. On the way, between Alcacer do Sal and Albufeira, 191 kilometers for a sprint. Uh, did I bring any sprinter? I didn't. I didn't bring a sprinter on a race with like five sprints. That's fucking dumb. And on seven kilometers, Jones is leading the peloton. Jason Kench is in the wheel. We're sprinting for um, Tom Sexton today. Even though, even though I reckon Curry has a sprint on him, um, we're gonna get blo yeah, we're gonna get boxed in. We're gonna get boxed in. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's genuinely exactly what I uh, what I was looking for. Three k to go. We are still getting boxed in. Left hander. Is there many corners? There are many corners. We're gonna launch a sprint with Mark Stewart, but he's about five light years behind where he should be. Then again, he do He did actually manage to 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 get a gap. It's not going to be a win today because I still don't have a sprinter. Uh, it's a win for Deli Fernandez. No, it's not. Victor Albanese. Vincenzo Albanese, sorry. Yeah. If you ten finish for Tom Sexton. Good. We're going to have fun on this race. Stage number three between Beja, sorry, Beja and Porto Alegre. Um, he did finish. Typically the kind of finish that I could win. Meaning that I'm going to crash before the line. 5 kilometers until the finish in Porto Alegre. We're going 99 with George Jackson. And it'll soon be the turn of Jason Kench. We are trying so, so hard to just stay at the front. But we've been dropped again. Uh, because of Matias for whatever team that is. It's impossible with this team to stay at the front. I, I, I'm pacing 99. If I was pacing 3, sure. Fair. Pacing 3. Overtake me. But 99, I should not get bullied on a daily basis, which so far has been a very, very um, carrying trend of this uh, of this save. Logan Curry, though, is well-placed heading into Porto Alegre. There is a downhill portion. I'm not sure he'll hold on to the line. Actually, matter of fact, he will. It's a win for Logan Curry. Two stages from on this Volta Portugal. We'll wrap up the episode with the World Championships, um, and I figured we'll end the uh, Volta Portugal in the next episode with the time trial, also because it is currently midnight and 30 minutes. I need to edit this, upload this, before later today, because uh, I, I don't have the time to just do more things right now because of a little thing called the Tour de France, yeah. Um, so the aim is quite simple. Winning the World Championships with a ride from New Zealand for the first time in history. Corbin Strong's looking good. Uh, win Ponferrada. Difficult parkour. I think the one that Michal Ketkowski had won. George Bennett has 80 mountain, 80 medium mountain, 80 hills. I think we found our leader for today. Halfway through these World Championships, uh, Michael was just crashed with uh, Nico Dens and some more riders. I think Kutsenko was one of them. Indeed, he was. Lenny Kemna. Um, very average stats for Lenny Kemna. I would expect it maybe a tad better in um, either mountain, medium mountain, or hill. But either way, I digress. Uh, George Ben is still looking good. Finn Fisher Black is one protecting him. Corbin Strong will be our final teammate with four more laps of this circuit in Spain. Um, obviously, winning is going to be quite difficult as Man Chavez is already back in the peloton. Fair enough, well done, Tim. Um, yeah, winning will be quite difficult. But we're going to give it our best show, obviously. Uh, I don't have any rider on this race, uh, so I will not be able to have the... Uh, I mean, I could. If Rory Townsend wins the World Championship, I'll have the World Champion in my team. But, I mean, the odds of this arriving, or... I mean, I, I don't think they exist. I don't think there are any odds in this situation. I don't have anyone in the UK. Australia, neither. New Zealand, I know I don't. As Pascal Lincoln just crashed with Kasper Asgrin. Uh, yeah, many things are happening in this um, World Championships. So far, we're staying strong. Michael Woods has not been awaited by his teammate. That is poor. Unless they're going for the go-to goal. It's the first big attack of this World Championship. Nathan Von Hoedonk. How? How is Von Hoedonk? I mean, I, I say that, but on today's sort of front stage, he brought back an entire breakaway of, like, Chicone, Lambda, and Pino with the help of, of uh, Christophe Laporte. Sorry, so I'm not going to ask questions. Ketkowski, he loves this parkour, is in the leading group. So it's Jack Hague, so it's Remco and Paul, so it's Michael Matthews. Von Oedonk exploses, so it's Quinn Simmons. A bit more um, surprising to see the, the American dying this early. Remco and Paul does not look 
this great 83 flats for Elkeunevel. That is quite, quite the stat. And also, it seems like Jack Egg is sacrificing himself for Michael Matthews. Here we are, the final climb, the final ascension here in Bonferrada. Ryan McNulty has got a small, small lead over the peloton, but he's going to get caught by a peloton led by Valentin Malouas. Uh, Belgium's tactics are very interesting. They've destroyed Remco. I mean, they've destroyed Remco. They've already used Remco, so I'm not really sure how they're going to uh, behave for this uh, next 12 km acceleration now. Thomas Pitcock, Cedric Guita, Primo Struggle, David Godu follows. McNulty tries to, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle for the American. He can't, he can't carry on. He's actually blocking George Bennett as well. Bit of a bit of a dickhead, can't lie. Kelderman, Groschartner, Mark Hirschi bridging up to the leaders. 27 seconds for them as Dylan Tunes, Tish Bernot are trying to come back. Oh, we've dropped there. the rest of the peloton is gone. The world champion is one of these nine riders, and two riders are from New Zealand. Sergio Iguita goes in the downhill portion. We're gonna uh, rely on Peters, try and do something. Corbin Strong is dead. So I'm afraid that the um, rider from ISN will not be of any use today. It's a very strong attack, I'll tell you what, by um, by Higuita. 26 seconds for the Colombian. Bennett is going to try and bridge. Not sure how much energy I can uh, afford to use here. Is anyone willing to relay me? If not, we've just lost the World Championships. Oh, I think we, oh, we need to make it. We need to make it right here. If we lose contact to this group, we are done. If we lose contact to this group, we are done. And thankfully, we're just going to make it. Higuita, Pitcock. And then there's a group 10 seconds behind. Come on. I didn't see that the finish was already here. George Bennett will not become world champion. That title goes to... Ta Sergio Higuita holds it to the line. What a year for Bora winning the Tour de France and the world championships. Iguita, Peters, Wilco Kelderman, Hershey Godu, sorry, Hershey Roglic Godu, George Bennett, P7, P8 for Tish Bernot, P9 for Grosha Anna, McNulty completes the top 10, and a very respectable P12 for Corbin Strong, who was strong today. Uh, we let Iguita go through, and that was my mistake, I should have followed him, but I expected the breakaway to try and pace him back, they never did. But the Colombian was just too strong today. Alright, that just about wraps up today's episode of the Bolton Equities Black Spur career mode. In the next one, we will carry on with the Volta Portugal. We will do some other races, such as the World Championships. That's also good, but although this one I have genuinely no hopes whatsoever. Um, we'll do some of our objectives in the uh, Driven Curse over Race. And if I have time, we'll put the Deutschland Tour. Uh, but we are nearing the end of first season, you've seen our transfers, so hopefully you guys enjoyed those, and if you want to see those riders in this team for next season, then feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch you in the very, very near future. My name is Guillaume, have an amazing day, see ya!